Ooh, Larry's. Not where I wanted to go. A really strange issue. Agreed. Uh, all right. Take a look. One, two survivors over there. I think one starting on that gen. I can't tell. Yeah, there's one on the gen over there. Hold up. I'm going to go over here. I hope I saw that right. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't see that right. The color is still there. I could have swore I saw him on the gen. I had a game last night where uh, I spawned in and three survivors already were on gens working on them. Like, that's just what showed in the aura. I was like, well, okay. Nice. Get rid of this strong out right away. Let's go ahead and get a chase down. I want to see if I can maybe... Larry's can be rough, but with this add-ons, I should be fine. Nice. Get rid of the pallet. We have a not-so-safe area here. Okay. Nice. And there we go. First down feels good. There goes Tinkerer. Tinkerer's over there. I'm going to leave him slug to create pressure and get the Tinkerer value hopefully here. Okay, there we go. And we make... Yep. She gets away over there. That's fine. And we can hook hopefully both of these survivors. If not, I can at least hook one. Distortion? It could be. Mm -mm -mm. If she goes to work on it, I will smack her. So, I see. She can possibly finish that, but she might go down for it if she does. What we got? Okay, bamboozle that. That's a rough call. Nice. She's got borrowed time. We can swap this off. Hook her up real quick because she's right by a hook. By the way, you have an Elgato deck, right? Yep. Two survivors look like they were there for a second. I see the scratch marks. Probably get rid of Hal's faster than anyone. He can, yes. Heard some pain noises, but I don't know if that was... Alright, here we go. Ooh, you guys are risky. There we go. And that's chilly. We brought strong perks. I mean, strong add-ons, but not any real uh, slowdowns. So we should be fine here. Hey, buddy. Nice. Block off the window so he can't get it. We have the one survivor who's trying to crawl away. All right. Ooh, I got focused a lot during these games, so if I ever miss chat, I'm sorry. Uh, but again, this is when you don't bring slowdown, you got to be pretty focused up. Welcome back, Echo. Maybe he gave you Larry's both games. Ooh, yeah, that's never fun. Okay, I got one survivor here. I'm gonna, uh, I think I might just go for the pickup. I don't want to be too greedy with it. I see. There we go. Do you really have anything here? She might try and go for that pallet, which means we can break it right out of the way. Oh, I mistimed it. I could have had that. Uh, if I have one more, uh, they can't play around the hook forever. I can just wait. I'll wait right here. I gotta wait for my charges. And she's gonna go second stage, so we just wait. There you go. Leave me, leave me away here. And there we go. Nice. So, just like that, we, we forced her to make the decision. Are you going to let that survivor go to stage two, or are you going to give me the down? Mm -mm -mm. Good for Adam for taking aggro? Yeah. Took aggro, right? Took it to the knees. Pop. And by the way, that was a arrow to the, to the knee joke. All right. Anything? No. Okay, good. What kind of uh, vaults do we have here? Kind of loop, I should say. I can catch up with the chainsaw. Come on. Got it. Woo. Close. Scary game. All right. We can go ahead. We'll hook her over here. Adam gets to remain on the ground, unfortunately. 
That's been his favorite place today. But it's just been the best call to leave him both times. You clipped that wall and didn't tantrum. Uh, I didn't look enough into it. We're fine. Are you able to stop up with chainsaw attack early? Uh, you don't necessarily stop it early, but you can chain it up to three times. You can choose not to do a chain. Okay. Let's go for him. He's the one, only one over here who could possibly go for a save, which means he's also the one who will drop a pallet. Yeah. I was hoping he kind of run back over here, but he didn't do that. Okay, there he is. He's kind of holding W, not really paying attention to what's going on around him. So we can definitely get ourselves a nice little hit here. Nice. Little stinky bubba, damn straight. Those chainsaw lines are so clean. Uh, I think I could have cleaned up one of them better, but yeah, not they're not bad, man. Bubba Chase and anti-hooking is insane. That's why I love him. Bubba's a lot of fun, and people, you know, Bubba gets a lot of bad rep for camping, but he really doesn't need to. He actually has decent chase time as long as you're chasing in the right areas. Hi. There we go. Adam had deliverance, so they go ahead. They're going to get that gen done. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and hook her up, and we will maybe eat a DS from the other survivor here. Either way, it's fine. We have our first survivor out of the game. All right. Rest his own biggest critic. I am. Yep. We have two survivors who are healing up over here. Uh, which way do they think they move? Adam can't heal. He. We also have a tracker on his decisive strike timing because of his deliverance can only last a minute. So... Let me move over this way. I should see blood here in a second. Here we go. Nice. And then we have one other survivor. I can leave him slugged for a moment and maybe catch this other survivor off guard. There they go. Oh, yeah. We can definitely get them, I think. If he has Unbreakable, it's whatever. But if I can get her down, then we can at least uh, end the game out. If I down her over here, too, I can uh, use Barbecue to track him wherever he's at if he doesn't have... Uh, Unbreakable. Okay. It's faster to take that rather than breaking the pallet. It just doesn't gain as much diff uh, distance. And I think right here we can actually look to do this. Yep. She might drop the pallet. But now she's in dead zone. There we go. And nice. We go ahead and we claim ourselves the 4K with zero regression. You have to be really focused. Uh, good teams have taken this build. I had played against a really good team last night. They got one. Wait, where the hell did. He was over there, right? I actually missed him on barbecue. <laughs> uh, I went against a really solid, I think, a group of solo survivors, actually. And they were really efficient on gens. And they got to, I think, one out. So. And that was me playing probably the, about as efficient as I could. So, this build is not for uh, the faint of heart. What's up, B-Boy? How you doing? One, two. One starting on Gen. Two over there. Two over here. This is a really bad scenario. Uh, I'm going to scare these two away. Probably a good look to go over there with uh, Tinkerer. I think that's the call. Because we have a pretty solid group here. Uh, definitely a rough area for me. Ooh, wait. Nice. Okay. We leave this and we go over here to these two. We leave the first one slug to create the pressure because the other survivor has to pick them up. Tinker will proc here in a moment, probably on this. There it goes. Because there's two survivors and possibly prove thyself. We always have to keep that in mind for prove thyself. Hey, buddy. What's going on, man? I have no slowdown, so I can't waste any time. All right. We leave him slug just for a split second. Not long. Let me look. We're looking to where she might be at. She's over there. We're fine. Okay. We can pick up here. We can look to... Uh, yeah, there it is. Hook there. Kick that gen. Go over there to that gen. That might be the call. They healed up completely. I just slow down, but you know me build. Hey, that's all right. Tonight is no slowdown for me only, but if you guys request builds, I will follow the builds to a T. Super Sylvie, thank you so much for the follow. Looks like one's moving over that way. Is that gen almost done? Or they just kind of give up on that gen? 
I don't know, but I like chasing over here a little bit more. Mm, I might change my mind on that, actually. Let me see what they do. That was silly. Uh, they finished that gen? Alright, we leave her on the ground, we go over here instead. That's the way to go for it. Yep, we have double Tinkerer, but that's alright. We have to go to this gen in general. So... And then swap it. Damn. I lost a little bit of value here. That's okay. Bamboozle this off. Okay. There we go. We leave the survivor over there slugged and we look to chainsaw here. Nice, that was really well done. Jump and... scare Myers, any perk. Oh, I got you. Good. We're breaking we're breaking pallets fast without losing a lot. We'll lose another gen here soon, but it's alright. Nice. That's almost every pallet. I might take the M1 here soon though, because we have a uh Yeah. Cool. But what is that every single pallet but they had to go over there just they'll get one gen done but other than that there's not much they'll get there we go they have this pallet still let's break this off uh i don't really want to be here actually to be honest with you good enough uh they have nowhere else to go i guess i will stick this one out they have to do a line of sight juke but they're definitely not doing that okay I can catch up with the chainsaw faster than I could by just walking at them. There we go. By just walking at them, we never would have caught that. Okay. Lots of pallets down, but did they waste enough time? Hopefully our slug bought us a lot of time there. But that's really rough. She really doesn't want to get down? Yeah, but this is what you'll see a lot. That's why we left that one survivor slug was to buy us time. Essentially, if you're a survivor, you're going to pick the slug up first. Oh, and there it is. That's the one thing you don't want to see, right? Someone has to go for the save. So is it you going for the save? If it's you going for the save, then... Uh, he's injured, so we go for him, and he's already been hooked. We definitely got to get a player out if we can. Uh, no dead hard. Okay, not be doing that. All right, we're gonna come down here because they might try and go for this save. Okay. Pinch this off. If we can chase this until she either goes for a pickup or we can look to end the game because they were so greedy. Nice. She has nowhere to go. There we go. Woo. We were almost at one gen, by the way. Crazy game. Uh, they can still have Unbreakable, so we, we aren't completely out of the woods yet. But looks like we brought that game really nicely there. How sensitive is this box? It can be very sensitive. Oh, it's on the other side. That's not good. There we go. One, two, three, four... Uh, they could still Kobe off too, so. He's, uh, too hooked. So I'm not worried about him Kobeing off. There we go. I really don't mind if they Kobe off, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, when I don't bring any, uh, any regression, it's, I I'll leave you slugged for pressure. I'll do a lot of other things to create pressure. And I'm going to take the snowball the second I get it. Um, I don't play nice when I don't bring regression. But I think it's, you know, you're being nice enough, right? Wait, was he literally not... Is he actually closer? In main building, maybe? There goes the Kobe. Which... And hop on the gen? I see. There we go. They tap the gem because Tinkerer proc'd. 
So we can try this again. There goes the Kobe. Oh, I don't respect Kobe's. Sorry if that hurts some feelings. And there we go. There he is. Tough game. Think about it. Alrighty. There we go. And we'll him with the uh, GG's. Okay, let's not bring any regression and let's play some Bubba because Bubba can insta down and uh, it'll be a little bit of fun. I did bring some stronger add ons with uh, Chili and the Beast Marks. That way I get a bit more movement speed and I have a, a longer dash window for the chainsaw, which is really nice. As far as the build, I went with Lethal Pursuer to get right into a chase right away, Bamboozle to block off any of the jungle gyms that we might come across. Barbecue and Chili to always know where my next destination is going to be and to give me a nice good aura read. And then Tinkerer to give me the ability to sneak up on survivors. And it also allows me to kind of play around a little bit um, as far as like awareness wise. So that's the build. Definitely try it out.